Okay. Well, hello everybody. Good afternoon. Or uh, we are so glad to have you here. Uh, I am Carolyn Neal with Elder Advocates, and we are welcoming you here today to the first annual Alzheimer's Pansy Project benefiting the Pat Summit Foundation. Thank you for coming. led by Susie Stiles of the Elder Law Practice of Monica Franklin is issuing a challenge today to the citizens and the businesses of Knoxville, Knox County, and East Tennessee to paint our communities with purple and orange pansies this fall to show our love and support for Coach Summit and all those affected by Alzheimer's disease. You may ask why pansies? Well, there's a good reason. The pansy got its name from the French word pinze meaning thought and it has been come to recognize be recognized as a symbol of thoughtfulness and of love so when you plant orange and purple pansies this fall we invite you to make it a labor of love and support for our coach pat summit and for those in our community affected by alzheimer's the patients their families their professional caregivers and health care practitioners as well as their friends and their neighbors. And when Coach Summit and all of those touched by Alzheimer's disease see those orange and purple pansies, they will know that we as a community are thinking of them and that we're sending a message of love and support to them, making a statement that we really care. So we all have some work to do to bring awareness to the devastating facts of Alzheimer's disease. Today, 5.4 million Americans are living with Alzheimer's disease. 5.2 million are aged 65 and over. 200,000 are under the age of 65. In 2012, the direct cost of caring for those with Alzheimer's to our American society will total an estimated $200 billion. In 2011, 15.2 million family and friends provided 17.4 billion hours of unpaid care to those with Alzheimer's and other dementias. That care was valued at over $210 billion. Alzheimer's disease is the sixth leading cause of death in the United States and the fifth leading cause for those persons aged 65 and over. Alzheimer's is the only cause of death among the top 10 without a way to prevent, to cure, or even slow the progression of the disease. Deaths from Alzheimer's increased 66% between the year 2000 and 2008, while deaths from the other major diseases decreased. We have a lot of work to do. We must join in the effort to find a cure for this disease. In the meantime, we need to improve treatment and care options for those living with Alzheimer's and create additional ways to support the families and the caregivers of these patients. East Tennessee has a special opportunity to help this cause by supporting the Pat Summit Foundation in its work to fight this disease. We are honored to have with us today our beloved coach, Pat Summit. Thank you. Thank you. When Coach Summit announced her diagnosis last year, the people of our community and far beyond were devastated. Because our coach stepped forward with an open heart to share her next life's challenge, we find ourselves more motivated than ever to help fight with fierce courage. We want to thank Adam Waller of the Pat Summit Foundation and the sponsors of the Alzheimer's Pansy Project. They are the Elder Law Practice of Monica Franklin, Moxley Carmichael Public Relations, Arbor Terrace Assisted Living, Elder Advocates, and of course Stanley's Greenhouse and Plant Farm. We're very excited to announce that Stanley's will be donating proceeds from flats of pansies sold between now and the end of November and those proceeds will go to the Pat Summit Foundation. Let's thank Stanley's for their generous support. 
In addition to purchasing and planning pansies, there will be opportunities to make donations at the Pat Summit Foundation through a special website. You are also invited to visit and befriend us on our Alzheimer's Pansy Project Facebook page. And we want you to send us our photos, your photos as you plant pansies, so we can post them to that Facebook page. We want to thank Patty Smith and the folks at High Resolution for our signs today. These large ones will be available for uh, purchase by businesses or neighborhoods who would like to make them a part of their pansy display in their communities. And the smaller yard signs as well will also be available here at Stanley's. We're privileged to have our Knoxville City Mayor, Madeline Rojero, with us today. We will have her speak to us before we hear from Mr. Patrick Wade, who's the director of the Pat Summit Foundation. Following Patrick's remarks, representatives from Stanley's will lead our mayor, Patrick, and Coach Summit in planting our first pansies. Following the planting, representatives from our sponsors will be here on hand to answer any additional questions. So before I turn the podium over to Mayor Rojero, I'd like to read a statement from Knox County Mayor Tim Burchett, who could not be with us today. <coughs> Mayor Burchett says planting these flowers is a great way to show our support for not only Pat Summit as she battles this horrible disease, but for all the victims of Alzheimer's and the families who care for them. Mayor Burchett said in a statement, purchasing these purple and orange pansies not only raises awareness, but also funds for the foundation. Thanks to Stanley's Greenhouse. Now, Mayor Rojero. Thank you, Carolyn. Well, I certainly agree with what uh, Mayor Birch just said. This is, first of all, thank you so much for being willing to put yourself out there, Coach, and to help raise awareness, raise funds. It's certainly something you didn't have to do. And again, you've shown your leadership uh, over the years, and we just continue to do that. Well, thank, so you thank you. Not only not only to the, to the young women you nurtured, but to the entire community. So we appreciate that. Um, I... Um, purple and orange, two of my favorite colors. <laughs> um, as, as Carolyn said, you know, she gave the statistics, but what that really means is that every one of us has been impacted. Whether it's one of our heroes, our dear friends, our family members, all of us are impacted by Alzheimer's. So we need to get there, we need to raise the money, we need to get the research done so we can learn how to, to uh, prevent it, how to, how to treat it, and of course how to, how to cure it. So uh, we'll be doing our part, and I'm just very pleased to be, to be able to participate in, um, here today. Thank you. We're, we're just happy to be here today on this beautiful day for this beautiful project. Uh, on behalf of the Pat Summit Foundation and the East Tennessee Foundation, we first want to thank Mayor Rojero for her time here today and for her support, also for the support of Mayor Burchett. I uh, certainly want to recognize Carolyn and Susie and all the committee members of the Alzheimer's Pansy Project uh, uh, committee members, excuse me, uh, they, they came up with this incredible creative idea and then did all the heavy lifting uh, to turn the idea into reality. And we think it's just a wonderful, thoughtful way to get the, commu the community involved in fighting Alzheimer's. Uh, of course, thank you to Stanley's for hosting us today and serving as our proud sponsor. And then finally, and uh, most importantly, I know I speak for everyone when I say that Coach Summit is an inspiration to all of us, and it's our privilege to join her in her fight against Alzheimer's, and as she said time and again, together we will win. So thank you very much. I just want to thank everybody for being here, and uh, this is really a, a great day, and um, just uh, proud that everybody came out. We are going to continue to fight, I can promise you that. So I, uh, I appreciate all of you. Love it. 
do a little bit of the east. Oh. And if you want to use that, or if you want to use your hands, however you want to do it. You tell me. Now that you've got the gloves on, maybe you just want to <laughs> okay. get a little harder and get that lady home. in there. That didn't take long. Excess. She won't talk back. He's the mama of pants. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank y'all for being here. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for being here, too. Appreciate it.